a, a lot of uh, made up things and the, a lot of stories there and they uh, you know you looked and it's hard for me to describe but all, all that stuff they say is evidence you look through it and there is no evidence against anybody me or Paul there wasn't any time and and just uh, too much made up stuff that's all I can say it's uh, and it's too bad that sometimes the system works that way on on, on feelings instead of facts you know so but I am relieved and uh, I worry about my son of course any Mr. Flores any action? comments for the family the victim's family yeah I, I feel bad for him because I didn't get no answers about what happened to their daughter and we don't know what happened to their daughter so and I like I said I feel sorry for her what was your reaction when you learned your son was found guilty I I don't know. I was just holding on, that's all. Are you in a state of shock? A little bit. Mr. Vesic, this is a big case for you. Is this the biggest case you've won or taken on? No, um, but it's the one I've been most um, invested in on a personal level. Um, because as you might remember, what I said at the very beginning in this case, this man is not just not guilty, he's absolutely innocent. And today's verdict proved that. So you can, you can quibble with me on the words there, but um, he never should have been charged. And I'm very pleased with the outcome. Love our system of justice. Jury is what it is. Jury has absolute power to say whatever they want to say. But in this particular case, they said not guilty, and I think that's the right verdict. So. What do you plan to do for the rest of the day? What are you doing next? I don't know. Going to Disneyland? No, <laughs> no, no, I don't yeah. know. No. I have no idea. Just, just stop and sit. <laughs> Any message to our Rio Grande community? Well, you know, I'll speak on his behalf here. It would be nice if the community would actually honor the presumption of innocence. If you go online, like I do frequently, or get the comments um, forwarded to me, like my phone's blowing up right now. There is just so much animosity towards this man, his family. There's so much hate, and I really have never understood it. I understand that people are upset that Kristen is missing. I understand they want a person to be responsible for that. But the, uh, just the, you know, the, 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 let's lynch him, let's burn him, let's hang him, let's kill him. I don't know where that comes from in this, in this uh, country. And I wish the community who still feels that way would uh, disabuse themselves of those feelings. So, What's your reaction just to the mixed verdicts and the fact that one jury found there was enough evidence, another found there was not? I think in this case there's been a real lust for vengeance. I think, like I said in my closing argument, there is a reasonable inference to be drawn that Kristen might still be alive out there somewhere. They never proved her death, by the way, if you'll go through the record. Um, Mixed verdicts happened. This is my first dual jury trial ever, so I guess I'm surprised at, at that, but I'm relieved at the outcome. I think it's the absolute right and just outcome, certainly the lawful outcome, so he's free to go. Yeah.